In my previous video, I was talking about the cash cow, how to cover all your expenses using just 8% profit from your investment's growth. That was a very nice cash cow, actually. But what if your annual growth is not 8%? What if it's 50%, 100% or even 1000% annually? Let's see what I have in my growth stock portfolio and how this portfolio made me over $45,000 less than in a one year. Also, it would be nice if you could hit that like button so we could start. For those of you who are new here, welcome! My name is Maria and I'm investing in real estate. I'm I'm investing in a stock market to achieve my goal one million dollars in seven years or even less started in 2020 so join me in this journey to see if i can do it talking about this stock market i've got some different portfolios with a bunch of stocks so you can check these videos to see all my ticker symbols and all my numbers there and today let me show you my growth stock portfolio with all these stocks there which i'm going to hold 5-10 years or even more. I'm adding some new stocks to this portfolio, but for today, here are my biggest investments. The first one is Tesla. Of course, this company needs no introduction. You gotta be kidding me. Sorry? You're Elon Musk. I am? And now I'm a lucky owner of 24 shares of Tesla, of course not as much as I would like to have, but these shares I bought at the fantastic price of $389.49 on September 2020. And this channel is supposed to be my online diary about my journey to $1 million, so it would be interesting to check this video in 2-3 years and check the prices. I will definitely check it and if you wanna do it too, you can add this video to your library to track the changes. Right after Tesla, one of my biggest positions now is NIO, a great Chinese electric vehicle company if you still don't know. I bought most of the NIO shares on August 2020 at the price of $13.64 per share. And of course, I'm gonna hold it as long as possible without any panic even if the market drops. Because I'm a long-term investor and I have a goal. So now I have 182 shares of NIO and I really believe in this company. As we can see, analysts are bullish about overall China EV sales. JP Morgan expects EVs to make up to 20% of the total China car market in 2025. Also China wants EVs to be 25% of all new car sales by 2025. And as we know, it's the world's biggest market for electric cars. For some diversification, I added to my portfolio Xpeng. One more electric vehicle company. I'm so bullish on this company. I like what they're doing. As it said on their website, Xpeng Motors fully respects the tradition of manufacturing and strongly believes that quality manufacturing is the foundation of smart EV mobility. So for now, I have 68 shares bought on October 2020 at the price $19.43 and now, as you can see, the price per share is $45, so let's see what will happen next. One of my favorite companies I own is Switchbank, ticker symbol is SBE. So here I have 120 shares bought at $10 per share in summer 2020. Quite happy with that, going to buy more if it drops and of course going to hold for 5-10 years and even more. Next is Plug, one of my old purchases too. Plug Power Incorporation is an American company engaged in the development of hydrogen fuel cell systems that replace conventional batteries in equipment and vehicles powered by electricity. I believe Plug Power will be a billion business with about 200 million of that coming from electric vehicles. So today I have 176 shares bought at a price almost $9 in summer 2020 and now the price per share is $53. That's crazy, isn't it? One more company I believe in is Nano Dimension and I bought it recently in January 2021. 
This company focuses on the development of advanced 3D printed electronic systems. I own 78 shares of it for now and we will see how it goes in a couple of years. Also one of my favorite companies that you might heard probably 1000 times is Etsy. It is just amazing. Etsy is the global marketplace for unique and creative goods. I would say it's something like Amazon, but much cuter and creative focused on handmade or vintage items and craft suppliers. And the price now is not so crazy as Amazon, of course, it's something about $175 per share. I bought my shares on May 2020 at the price $81 and I'm so interested what will be the price in 2024, for example. So if you are watching this video from 2024, it would be nice if you could leave a comment down below. And finally, one of the most impressive company I own is Peloton. Peloton provides interactive fitness products. I like the idea of such a healthy lifestyle and I think Peloton still have a big future. I've noticed this company a year ago, actually I was looking for a bike for myself and then I decided that it's an awesome company, so I didn't buy a bike, I bought 70 shares of Peloton. So now I still have these 70 shares bought at the price $30.50 per share on January 2020. And the price per one Peloton share now is $158.88 and my profit per year is almost $9,000. And my total profit per year from this gross portfolio is almost $47,000. Well, it's not actually profit yet because I'm still holding all these shares, I'm not selling anything, but anyway, my cost basis, I mean the original value of all my assets in this portfolio is $22,126.06. And the market value of this portfolio is $68,695.56. So as you can see, I don't like playing, I'm choosing a long-term strategy when I'm investing in a stock market. But anyway, I recommend you to make your own research before you buy any stocks, because I'm not a financial advisor and this video was just for entertainment purpose only. And if you guys are new to the stock market, I really recommend you to check this video how to pick stocks. That's all for today. If you guys liked this video, please join me in my million dollar journey and bye!